picked one. I thought, what was always screamed through my house when I said something inappropriate as a child? And it was, Patrick Alexander! There we go. Um, I think I was named after St. Patrick. Stay. Because you know that whole, you know, name your kid after where they were conceived. I had a few friends like that. I had a friend named Noel. Uh, she has a sister named Allie. <laughs> Or is just name prom? I never really knew her very well. So I'm gonna move the mic stand because I'm really thin and I'm afraid you're not gonna be able to see me. There we go. Is that better? Is that better? Right? That skeleton is a boy? Okay. I'm usually a very confident person though, really, uh, with my shirt on. Uh, underneath here it's all it's like a Ken doll without the definition. It's just smooth, you know. Uh, I, I have the smallest nipples in human history. I do. Like, without a shirt on, my chest looks like it's squinting at you. <laughs> like, he's trying to take a really hard eye test on the other side of the room, like, oh, I can't lose my license again. <laughs> it's like if Scooter from the Muppets takes his glasses off. That's what it would look like, since I'm oversharing. Uh, I'm a gay person, and I'm a teacher, by trade. Um, thank you. My colleagues are always really amazed by that. They're like, wow, you're gay and a teacher? And I say, yeah, but you can't teach it. <laughs> can't catch it either, front row, don't worry. Where did Michael Moore go? Um, I don't get a lot of homophobia, though, as a teacher, which is really great. It shows that times are progressing, and it's a Catholic school. Um, I get it more from the parents than I do the kids. Uh, I just had parent-teacher interviews, and I had a couple standing in line, and they were talking loudly about how they were upset their daughter was in my class because they were what God intended, and I was not. I know. All right. I'm a professional. I'm a professional, right? The mother walks up, and I shake her hand. Father walks up and I went, oh, I know you. <laughs> so I'm a professional and that's what you do. Uh, I, I always find it a little awkward, you know, like, people know that I'm gay. And I feel like sometimes straight people feel like they need to gain, gain, like, gay cred with me when they talk to me. They'll say things like, oh, you know, uh, I have a gay friend. His name is Steve, he's from Pearl, do you know him? And he, you don't really need to do that, you know? I don't see you and hear that and I think, gay friend. <laughs> level two. <laughs> to achieve level three, discuss experimenting in college. <laughs> the sad thing was, I did know Steve from Pearl. <laughs> Okay, but it's the Niagara region, okay? <laughs> Gay men are like sushi restaurants. There's only so many per capita <laughs> that are actually good. <laughs> oh, that was savage, I know. So, I think it's hard when you date anywhere. If you're gay, straight, miscellaneous, it doesn't matter. You still go to the same family functions, they ask you the same question. Are you seeing anybody special? And I say, no, but I am seeing someone. <laughs> right? Um, I was recently dating this very hot doctor in this next joke. And uh, <laughs> we went out like three times. It was really successful. And uh, he called him appointments, but whatever. I count it. I count it. <laughs> I'm so alone. He was very complimentary, though. He would always say things to me like, you know, you're so fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Please stop coming here. I had to break it off, though. He was just a little too merry. And I don't just think about dating, though. You know, I'm really worried about the state of the world. You know, I really think that with all the things that are going on, we may be on the cusp of World War III. And I think that we may need back up. I think the Canadian government should start drafting soldiers. However, because it's 2017, I think we should draft people based on their bravery and how outspoken they are and how patriotic they are on Facebook. Because 
the armies would rise, ladies and gentlemen. They all start fighting and get shit accomplished, but still. Because uh, I'm not going. Fuck that. I am not going. I I'm a lover, not a fighter. If you see me all in military fatigues, it's either Halloween, gay pride, or I finally become a stripper. I guess this stage is good practice. I feel like I should do a tootie slide. Anyway, that's my time. Thank you very much for